In Monster Hunter, attacks are deliberate and you have to commit to an animation for them. Each strike is well calculated and timed out looking at the micro changes in a monster's animation. Combat is predictive, not reactive. <laughs> <laughs> said no dual blade user ever. Seriously, if you are used to bigger weapons that force you to play in a committed style, then picking up the dual blades will make it feel like a completely different game. Liberating, fast and furious and powerful to boot, if zipping in and around monsters is your thing, then you've come to the right place. Welcome to my tutorial on the dual blades. The concept of the weapon is simple enough. The dual blaze does a lot of fast hits and are very nimble. At any time you can press the R2 button to go into demon mode where you'll move faster, your attacks are more powerful, and you'll even have access to a few new ones. In a perfect world you'd always be in demon mode, but you can't because it consumes stamina while you're in it. However, as you hit a monster in demon mode, the gauge on the upper left hand side of the screen will rise, and if you fill it up, you'll unlock Arc Demon Mode, which, simply put, will give you access to some of those new powerful moves even when you're outside the Demon Mode. However, it will consume the gauge. How well you can weave in and out of Demon Mode will determine how much damage you will dish out, but it's a lot easier than it was in past games. Before anything else, let's start out as we always do with the normal attacks. Your draw attack is the Lunging Strike. You can do this by pressing the triangle with your weapon's sheath, or just pressing circle button when your weapon is out. This is a good attack that gets you closer to a monster and it comes with built-in super armor, meaning you won't get knocked out of it by small hits. After the lunging strike you have two options, you can press triangle to do a quick rising slash, or you can press circle button to do the more powerful left round slash. These are just intermediate moves that feed into your triple hit combo with the triangle button. The rising slash will get you into the following combo faster while the round slash hits higher and has a repositioning trick. If you hold left on the analog stick when you do the left round slash, you'll turn your hunter 90 degrees to the left. You could also do this by holding to the right side if you want to as well. This is really good for micro repositioning. Both the rising slash and the round slash lead you into the standard 3 triangle button attack combo. Press triangle while idle or after those moves to do the double slash. This is just a standard attack. Press it again and you'll do a slightly more powerful return stroke. Then one more time to end the combo with the circle slash. This actually has pretty good range on it. Do note that you do not have super armor during this triangle combo so you can get knocked out of it. After the three hit combo you can press circle button again to do the lunge and restart the combo. Easy peasy. There are two moves you can do during this three hit triangle combo that the game really doesn't tell you about. The first one is that you can hold left or right to 90 degrees of your hunter and press the circle button and you'll go straight into another lunging attack. This is really good for repositioning or if the monster is getting away from you to just sort of stick on it like flies on poop. The other thing you can do is an awesome move called turn slash. This is if you want to turn completely around. So hold back in relation to your hunter and press the circle button and you'll do this turn slash. It'll completely turn you 180 degrees and allow you to keep the combo going. Now before we go on to demon mode and then arc demon, let's take a quick look at the jump and slide attacks. Press triangle after a jump to do a standard slash. This does a decent amount of mounting damage. And the mount attack is really powerful and does tons of hits. Check this out. If you do the lunging strike by pressing the circle button into a slope, you'll go immediately into a slide. Press triangle to do the mid-air spinning blade dance which does 4 hits total. And press triangle one more time while you're in the air to do the finisher which does 6 strong hits. The first 2 in the air and the other 4 on the ground. This is a very powerful attack but it doesn't do any mounting damage so don't use this if you're trying to mount a monster. The reason why you want to get into the habit of lunging into a slope is that you can do the special attack on a very small slope whereas if you had waited for your hunter to slide on down you would need more time and a longer slope. And of course you can also do the lunging strike into mushrooms on the wall to jump up and do those as well. Okay, now that we've fully covered normal attacks, now it's time to go into demon mode. Press R2 either with your weapon sheathed or out to go into demon mode. You'll hold the blades in reverse and notice that your movement speed is a lot faster than normal. Your evades also turn into the amazing demon dash, which is incredibly fast but does eat through your stamina. In demon mode your stamina will decrease gradually and when you run out you'll automatically exit demon mode or you can press the R2 button to exit manually. 
This is really important because without any stamina, you won't be able to evade a hit. So try not to let it run completely to nothing. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck not being able to evade an attack until you get some more stamina back. The Lunging Strike in Demon Mode transforms into my favorite move, the Demon Fury Rush. I also call this the Slingshot. Just press the circle button to do it. I call this the Slingshot because you are literally throwing yourself forward at a target. It's hard to tell, but this does 6 hits. It's not actually super powerful, so this is more about getting off elemental damage or closing distances really fast, especially considering that it has Mind's Eye, meaning that it's not going to bounce off a monster no matter how hard the part that you hit is. The triangle combo is also upgraded. Press triangle once to do the demon fangs, then press it a second time to do the two-fold demon slash. The finisher on the triangle is really important though in demon mode. It's called the six-fold demon slash, and this not only does a lot of damage, but also fills your demon gauge by an incredible amount if you land that final hit. The circle button after a slingshot that does the round slash now gets a second one as well if you press the circle button a second time. This is the highest hitting move the weapon has, so if you're in the face of a monster, this is a great move to use. There's also a new move that many may not be aware of called the left and right fade slash. You can do this by inputting left or right on the analog stick and pressing triangle after the second move in your triangle button combo. This is a way to keep the combo going longer, and it leads to another transitional move which is called the rising slash if you press triangle. The rising slash is neat because it's also the move you do if you press triangle after a demon dash and it can be followed up with triangle to restart the combo, or circle to do the left round slash and then the double round slash. Then finally we have the real meat of demon mode, which is the blade dance. Just press triangle and circle at the same time to do it. It's a full auto combo that does 15 hits. Now for this move you are committed to the position when you start the combo, so be careful not to just spam this thing, unless you're sure you're going to be safe for the duration. The general advice is to use the triangle attacks to do the damage, and if the monster is down and you have a big opening, use the blade dance. This attack has super armor so you won't easily get knocked out of it as well, and mind's eye so you won't bounce. It really is the bread and butter of the weapon, and while you can get away with just spamming this, it really wouldn't be that fun of a way to play the weapon, now would it? Finally we have the jump and slide attacks, which also get upgraded in demon mode. If you do an evade off a ledge, you'll go into a special area attack that does 8 hits, versus the 4 that if you were doing it outside of demon mode. However, there is a hidden secret to this attack. If you don't press a triangle button, you just do the evade off and you hit a monster, you'll automatically start to sort of surf the monster. You'll do a spinning attack all the way to the other end of its body. Going from head to toe, you can do an upward of like 55 hits against something like the final monster of the game. And like the lunge, you can also use the slingshot to throw yourself into a slide or into the mushrooms to do a jumping attack. It is also worth noting that once you kick off into the attack, you can completely change your direction that you are flying. Okay, back to demon mode. Each time you hit a monster in this mode, it will increase your demon gauge. Here is the amount that it increases for each attack. Once the gauge is filled, it'll glow and your weapons will also start to glow, and this will put you into arc demon mode. Go ahead and cancel out a demon mode and let's see what this does. First, your movement speed is faster. Second, your lunge now becomes that lovely flurry rush attack. The turn slash in the middle of your combo also becomes this rush attack. This move will consume a little bit of your demon gauge and if it runs out you'll exit arc demon mode, so before that happens just make sure you go back into demon mode and get some more gauge. Finally, you can press triangle plus circle just like the blade dance to do a poor man's version called the demon flurry. This does about half the strength of the blade dance and does 7 hits instead of 15, but you can press R2 right afterwards to go straight into the demon mode. There are two final things to leave you with. One, unlike past games, if you get hit, you will not exit demon mode. This is a dual-edged sword in that it's nice not to exit the mode, but your stamina will still be decreasing, so if you are already low on stamina when you got hit, you will have zero stamina when you get back up, and that could lead to some accidental deaths. Finally, like past games, you can keep a combo going even if you run out of stamina and you will not exit demon mode until the combo is over. So if you need to push it a little bit more to get some more damage or to get a little bit more juice, you do have that option. And that's really it. The dual blades are not a complicated weapon. There's a ton of different ways to do combos, but that really is up to self-expression. So go ahead and whack on the training pole and figure out how you like to use the weapon. Um, before we go though, I will jump in and let's see it in action. 
Okay, finally, here we are again to Anjanath High Rank. This is just really for illustrative purposes. I wanted to show you one, the awesome finisher that you can do when you're mounting a monster. This thing feels so good. This is another good reason why you do not want to be flash banging people off of a monster because that's a ton of damage and the down will be much longer um, if the guy knocks him over rather than you using a flash bang. So generally when you have an open, you're going to want to be using that blade dance. Um, I got a little greedy with using it. Um, but it is really powerful, so it's great for chopping off tails, smashing faces, and stuff like that. Um, but really, that circle button that really moves you around, that thing is going to be your bread and butter for moving around fastly because it slingshots you forward. Um, I did run out of stamina here, so I do go in and out of it quite often so that I can spam that blade dance and do some damage. But really, it is the in and out of using that slingshot, using the triangle one to gain more power, and then punishing a monster with the blade dance that makes this weapon so fun and easy to use. If you want, you can almost use this as a hit in away weapon. Check this out. So I go in, I hit, I quit get away, and then I hit him again. Um, you can just use that slingshot if you want, if you're looking for a little bit more safer hunts like this. <laughs> I'm going to go for those legs. I'm trying to trip him. Hitting this monster in the snout when it's upset will cause a nice flinch, so if you're having a hard time with Anjanath, try to focus on hitting it in the nose when it's really upset. I will do a video soon covering elemental damage, but elemental is really good on a weapon like the Dual Blades because it doesn't matter whether it's a large, you know, strong level 3 charge from a greatsword or a single hit from a Dual Blade, elemental damage does the same every single time if you're hitting that same spot. So elemental really racks up damage a lot faster than raw can if you know what you're doing and you know the weaknesses of the monster. But that's not to say that raw is, isn't great. Like these Nergi, like Wolverine uh, gloves here are really good up against just about anything, even if it's not weak against dragon. Here I am picking on its legs even again. Going to go for those trips. <laughs> That's what happens when you accidentally do the combo and you commit yourself without having a good opening. Uh, which I know I was warning you guys not to do. And that's really it. The Dual Blades is a very expressive weapon. There's a lot of different ways to use it. So find sort of the way that you like to. Find your flow. Um, but definitely try to make sure that you pay attention with weaving in and out of demon mode. Uh, so you're not finding yourself stuck with no stamina. Unlike previous games, uh, if you get hit, you don't actually get knocked out of demon mode. If you get hit and knocked over, your stamina is still going to be going down. So that could leave you open to getting hit really hard if you're not careful. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, happy hunting.